All right. Let me just tell you that I should not be awake right now. It is way too early for me to start recording and listening to music and stuff. Well, okay, it's not too early for me to start listening to music. Well, let me do the intro. What's up? How you guys doing today? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is 7.52 right now. I am, I am, I've woken up way too early. Not too early to rush into some good music, though. Uh, <laughs> we're going to continue on in our album listen of Signals. We're going to listen to the track The Weapon uh, here, which was released in 1982. And like I said, I mean, I don't, think that, I don't think I've ever woken up this early to record, specifically. Like, this is, I'm treating this like a job right now. <laughs> but definitely a lot more fun. Uh, but let me go ahead and pull up the lyrics and stuff, because I don't even have that set up here. How are you guys doing today? I'm sure it's not... Well, maybe it is morning right now when I release this, but... How are you guys morning going? Everything's going good? Evening going all right? Let's go ahead and get into the music. I'm, I'm not still waking up. I've already eaten. I've had breakfast. And I've, like, relaxed a little bit. It's just I did everything a little bit earlier than usual. <laughs> but this is definitely the earliest recording session I've ever done. But I got a lot to do today. So I said, let me relax and listen to some music first. And then I'll get to the other stuff. The not-so-fun stuff. The Weapon.
What do you even say after that? Um, once again, I'm loving this synth direction that the band has really moved forward with and has really made their own. As I kind of mentioned before in another video, like it's it's still Rush, just with you know more synthesizer on top. Here we have what I believe is like an ARP sound that's being played throughout. And first of all, before I go any further, the notes and the ways being played reminds me of another song that I can't quite think of the name of. If you saw my puzzled confusion <laughs> and face during the track, that's because I was like, that sounds really familiar. I just I, I can hear the song, but because I have this one in my mind, I can't remember what the other one is. But the notes and the that kind of synthy sound, it, it sounds like another song. Like a pop or electronica song or, or something. Anyways, getting back to this though. I'm really loving Getty's bass playing in here, especially when he comes in with those like really ripping bass fills. He just kind of comes in, ba -da 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 -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> that's my bass sound, ba -da -da -ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> and then like he'll kind of go back, play with the arp again, and then you hear him later on, ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da. like he just adds these really nice bass rips in there that it's like, ooh. You know, I think once again, as I've mentioned several times before listening to Rush, I think Getty's a little bit, just a little bit of an underrated bass player. I know he's not an underrated bass player, but he's an underrated bass player, if you get my drift. Um, Alex really shines during the break there in the middle as those synths are going in in the dissonant cosmic sounds. They're kind of floating around in this little soup, and I like how Alex kind of plays with this, not a synthy guitar sound, but kind of a synthy guitar sound, like, like it's light synth. It's, it's barely there, but it definitely adds another layer into the music, and especially the way that he's playing in there. I like how Pierre, though. Um, just obviously solid all around, duh. But <laughs> about the opening hi hats, I can imagine Pierre doing that just with one hand, as in he's not doing like t -t 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 like that. Obviously he could, but I'm imagining him doing it with one hand, kind of like we saw in that Buddy Rich solo, where he's just like doing the hi hat, opening and shutting it, you know, with his foot, probably using his other hand for it as well. Like just, I can see him doing that with one hand, and that. That's crazy to me. Obviously, he definitely could be using two. And I'm sure he is using two because he goes on and do some, does some other fills later on. But mm, I really like that. That groove in the very beginning, as soon as that starts and fades in, that's where I'm at. Like, hold on, maybe lower this volume a little bit. <sighs> Those notes from the ARP sounds like something and I, I can't put my finger on it. I'm trying to, <laughs> sorry, I was trying to play the other song in my head and I can't do it. One of you guys knows what I'm talking about. Let's talk about these lyrics, which I think, I think these lyrics are talking about weaponized religion, just because of all the, the religious references we have in here, but I also think that it could be applied to many other things as Russia's lyrics tend to do as well. We've got nothing to fear but fear itself, not pain or failure, not fatal tragedy. I like that. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. Okay, but what about pain and, and failure and, and fatal tragedy? I guess you could fear those too. <laughs> Not the faulty units in this mad machinery. Not the broken contacts in emotional chemistry. There's, there's a few things to fear. Mm -hmm. With an iron fist and a velvet glove. Not full of Vaseline. We are sheltered under the gun. Tom Stolby. We are sheltered under the gun. Sheltered under the gun. Almost a bit of a contrast kind of thing. In the glory game on the power train, thy kingdoms will be done. And the things that we fear are a weapon to be held against us. He's not afraid of your judgment. We know hot horrors worse than your hell. He's a little bit afraid of dying, but he's a lot more afraid of your lying. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm attributing this to like weaponized religion and religion being used against people and against society. But this could easily be applied to anything else. But I really like that little bit of like self self reflection. He's not afraid of your judgment. He knows of horrors worse than your hell. He's a little bit afraid of dying. Like, admittedly, there's a there's a, a, a peak of honesty. Yeah, he's a little bit afraid of dying. But what's worse than that? He's a lot more afraid of your lying. Can any part of life be larger than life? Hmm. Sometimes we think too much about the big picture, but what about the, the small subdivisions of life? What about the smaller things? Can any of those things that make up the grand beauty of life be more important than life itself? Even love must be limited by time. 
and those who push us down that they might climb is any killer worth more than his crime like a steely blade in a silken sheath we don't see what we're made of so maybe power belongs to the people he's saying uh, a blade in a silken sheath like they wrapped up the blade to look pretty but inside there's a weapon and he says we don't see what we're made of so we can rise up hmm they shout about love, but when push comes to shove, they live for the things they're afraid of. And the knowledge that they fear is a weapon to be used against them. Mm. Okay, I slightly take back what I said, even though not entirely. This could be about any oppressive government, people in control, force, any sort of oppressive force against people and society that's been weaponized. But at the end, he says, you know, we don't see what we're made of. We, we can fight back. Okay. I like that. I like that. And the knowledge that they fear is a weapon to be used against them. What is it they fear? They fear you. Ah, that's great. I mean, listen, one thing I love about Rush, because I, I love when a band has something to say. And <laughs> on a more selfish note, I love when a band gives me something to talk about. So, like, I love Rush's lyrics because I can always talk about them. They're so deep, so much meaning in them. There's a, a simple entry fee, but once you get in, you really find the depth of the machinery. That's awesome. That's really good. Hey, let me know what you guys thought of the track, though. You can let me know in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter. Support the channel on Patreon. Hope that you, en Hope that you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.